What's going on there, YouTube? Big Ben with Twisted 420 has returned. That's right, people, we are back. It is Tuesday. Sorry I missed yesterday. I was still feeling a little under weather, believe it or not, and my wife was sick. It was just a whole thing. But anyway, we're back today. We're back today. I'm done taking care of her. And we're back to do something. This is my first time ever doing a review on this style device. Okay? Today we're taking a look at Mojo Vapes disposable like pod device thingies. Nick Salts. That's right, disposable. Now I didn't even know that these things existed until like a couple of months ago. I found out they had like disposable E6. It blew my mind. It blew my mind. And we're gonna get into a bunch of stuff. I have a couple of cases that a little story I'm gonna tell you about later on where these type of devices helped a couple of friends of mine. We're gonna get into all that. And today, people, my throat's still a little scratchy, if you could probably hear it. But today, people, we're not gonna do all the theatrics and extra stuff. This is a very very simple little setup so we're just gonna go through the motions i'm gonna let you know about this little guy and we got five flavors that i'm gonna try okay now let me go ahead and just do little specs and price no i'm just kidding anyway people what these are uh i don't know what size battery they are but these are little 50 milligram nicotine nick salt devices that you can uh, they come pre-charged and you can get 250 plus puffs out of them and then when you're done, you just throw them away. I looked on Mojo's website and they sell for $6.99 a piece. Now that seems a bit high. I'm trying to do the math. 250 plus puffs versus uh, like cigarettes versus other puffs. It's a whole thing, okay? It's 1.2 mil of liquid in these. But they have multiple flavors. We're gonna try a few of them. And uh, real quick, I wanna tell you about packaging. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna quit fucking around, all right? Uh, the packaging's simple. You got these little boxes. They got the nicotine warnings. They tell you all the info you need to know on them. Tell you about the flavor and stuff. And as far, and, and what's cool is inside each box, the little packages, they got little designs on them to show you what they are. You know, they correspond with what, whatever flavor that they are. I think that's kind of cool on a little, little tearaway packaging. Kind of cool, all right? Um, now, the device itself, once you get it out of the package, it's rather simple. You got a little fucking sticker on the bottom you peel off for the venting. And then you just pop a little plug out of the mouthpiece. And then guess what? You go straight to vaping. And I was worried. I was like, oh, man, like... Is it gonna be good right off bat? And you can just straight up open one of these bitches up and they're good. It's pretty wild. They got a little light on them too at the bottom. Pretty wild little setup for me. <coughs> I'm still not right. I don't know what the fuck's taking so long for this, this sickness to be over. I hardly ever get sick though, so I'm fine with it. But anyway, <coughs> damn it. All right, this is fine. We're gonna make it through this 50 milligram Nick Salt disposable pod review while still a bit under the weather. We're gonna do it and it's gonna be fine. So what we're gonna do now, I've told you a few things, okay? I still got my story coming up about a couple of buddies. But now what we need to do is go through and vape these bitches. Well, let me see, I'm gonna start with, we'll start with this menthol. Whew. Now I haven't, a couple of these I've been vaping on already. Okay, I've been trying, I've been puffing on them. The menthol I haven't, this is fresh, stickers peeled, everything. Ooh. Very minty. It's um it's a spearmint kind of mint right off bat. And it um uh, it does what menthol does. It whoosh into your fucking mouth and lungs and throat. But yeah, if you want kind of a spearminty kind of menthol, that's what that is. That is what that is. Oh cool. Oh actually, you know what? Yeah, okay, that's right, that's right. That's menthol. I'm trying to get all the colors right. I'm all fucked up here. Okay. So the menthol is menthol -y, okay? Let me see what else we got here. We're gonna do, what is this? We're gonna do ice pineapple, all right? Haven't vaped this one yet, a little nervous. Right. These things are so small too, that's another convenient thing. How small they are? Oh, that's not bad. It's not what I thought it was gonna be. This is basically a nice pineapple flavor with some culotta. That is not too shabby. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good little guy here. It's always different with Nick sauce versus regular flavors because it's different. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's hard to explain. Ah, <coughs> oh, fuck me. 
This is gonna be fun. Okay, now let's go ahead and try this cool melon. It's got a cool green color to it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's not bad. You know what it reminds me of? Hold on. This reminds me of a uh, Madrina. Remember Suicide Bunny? Was it Suicide Bunny? Am I saying the name right? Yeah, Madrina. Remember Madrina? Uh, it's like a nice melon flavor with a little bit of culotta. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's just the menthol that's been hardcore menthol so far. These other ones are nice. Yeah, I can make that. Now these last two, these last two I have tried. What is this one? Uh, this is Limit Dessert. And this one's gonna be a classic tobacco. Limit Dessert, I've already vaped. Let's vape it for the sake of vaping. It reminds me of like a lemon meringue pie, but with like some custard mixed in. It's not bad, the flavors are coming through really strong. And you don't get that with all pod devices in Nick's sauce. It depends on the liquid a lot too. Apparently these guys are using a pretty good liquid, but that's, that's a good one. I've been vaping this one the most. And then last but not least, classic tobacco. Now you guys know menthols and tobaccos aren't my thing, but for the sake, this is what they sent me. We're gonna try to, I, I can know if something's good or bad, whether I can take my bias out, try to give an accurate description. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, it's very tobacco-y. Like, um, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a name for it. It comes straight to my head. You guys remember a tobacco flavor? Um, very popular in the early stages of vaping. It has a name, a specific name to that specific tobacco. I think there's numbers involved. Number 57, number 77. This reminds me of that. It's a pretty, it's not a bad tobacco, actually. It's kind of sweet. If you remember what tobacco I'm talking about, leave it in the comments for free PP touches. Can't think of the name of it, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, we just vaped through all of them, okay, people? We just went through, we vaped them all. Whew, that was a lot of 50 milligram. Well, I got some findings, okay? I've been vaping, like I said, I've been vaping on a couple, but I have some findings now. I personally kind of like the idea of the disposable thing. I know some people are like, oh, no single-use plastics and, and recycling. I understand a lot of things, but I like the idea of it. And let, me, let me tell you my little story. I got two friends, both work uh, doing construction type thing. One owns a construction company. And uh, anyway, here's the thing. Both of them have been vaping for years, okay? But they ended up going back to smoking. And both these guys knew their shit. They had juices they liked. They had badass setups, the whole nine. It was a convenience thing. And plus a little bit of peer pressure. One of the guys anyway. He was talking about everybody else on the site was smoking. Uh, the way he was doing stuff. There was fiberglass and shit getting into his vape. and It was bad. He didn't, he didn't have the time to really just get a good vape. But both of those guys were able to quit. So they've been able to knock the cigarettes out again by using disposables. Something they could throw back in their pocket. Take it out. Take a couple of hits. Which same thing with like a pod device. But specifically with these two individuals. Disposable little Nick salts. They gave them the they gave them the satisfaction. You know you get a nicotine craving while you're working and shit. They gave them the satisfaction that they wanted. It was something very discreet and small. And when it's all said and done you can throw it away. You can put the little plug on the top. Cover it up. And it helped those guys. That's uh, cases that I've seen with my own eyes. Where disposable little pod devices can actually help. So uh, yeah, yeah, I can dig it. I can dig it. I can, like I said, it's, a, it's another tool to uh, to get people to quit smoking. So I'm for it. Now, as far as the rest of it, uh, 250 plus puffs. That seems pretty. Seems okay. Seems I don't, I don't know. Is that a lot? It's 200. I don't know how to gauge that really. You know what I mean? But seven bucks a piece. So seven bucks a piece. I don't know how much a pack of cigarettes is. I think that's comparative to an extent. So let's say 250 puffs versus. Tw I don't know. I don't know. But seven bucks per. 50 milligram. I don't know. I'm not sure how it works out. I think it's good. I don't know if that's a good deal. I, I've been vaping on them, but it's hard to say. I, it's not. It's not my thing necessarily. But I will say. I will say this as a reviewer, as a person that vapes, been vaping a long time. These things vape well, and they're very convenient. And I think that's a, pu a pro for them. Uh, I guess a con could be that you know, like uh, the fucking you got to just throw them away. Some plastic. They're not biodegradable. Blah blah blah. Uh, and a $7.99 a piece. It's not something you keep. It's something you chunk. So or $6.99. Uh, so it's seven bucks. I don't know. I'm torn, but I do know that they help. And these specifically uh, are good. They're using really good liquid and they vape well. Okay. So that's the best one. It's my first time reviewing something like this. So I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Let's say down the line, 
If I get more experiences, have more time with them, I can develop more of an opinion. But I did have that little story for you, and then that's what I got. I don't know. I, I'm still torn on the whole thing, okay? But they're cool. Uh, I still think they're cool. What beyond anything, and there will be a link in the description where you can go check out these little cool things, okay? I don't give a shit. But I told you, all right? I did tell you, and that felt good. That felt good. So that being said, oh. thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are great. And leave me a like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't. It's whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. Remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on. I think I've made that point quite clear. As long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies. That's what's important, okay? And last but not least, you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and these Mojo Disposables, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than helping out construction workers.